same job we did at the very beginning where we touched him here and kept that back leg from moving forward through space and, and allowing him to continue his, his walking activity. And because of that instability, he gets wound up on one foot and his hip flexes aren't good at that moment and he has to only to go down that line. That first throw we did, the very first one, we're going to end it the same damn way, except we're going to attack the other end of his body. And we're going to do it with just a light brushing contact, almost nothing. As he comes in, and here comes the attack, I'm just going to step right down here and prevent his leg from being able to go where it has to go. And it can try, but it'll bump like this. And usually they won't even get a chance to, to touch it. You kind of wait for him because you want him to commit the step. You don't want him to do <laughs> that would be bad. If you go early, you're very long. You gotta kind of wait for it. You wait for it to get kind of oh, somewhere in here. Ah. And the targeting problem, he's trying to deliver energy to something that's not there. So his first reflex is delivering energy and uh oh, it's not happening. The second problem is that his back leg can't go where it's gotta go to stabilize him. So he winds up stuck on that front foot again. He winds up stuck just as if we took and touched his shoulder at the wrong time. Because now we're touching the space where this has to go, right here. Huh. And his own self-protective reflex kills him. And that's all there is to it. There are forms of this you'll see, which uh, are a little more dynamic oriented towards uh, breaking the leg. And that's a good thing to study as well, but again, a little more vicious. And that has to do with, as he's coming in, I'm going to come into this forward knee <laughs> and put my, my body rolling into it. Uh, that's a good thing to study as well, but it will tend to break later. So just be aware of that. Uh, the, the, the ones I've found to be most useful, most commonly, even in close circumstances, we're just standing out here with each other, and he's trying to move at me in some way. <laughs> It's just a drop right there for the back leg. And it's a very strange sensation. In fact, try it that way. <coughs> try it like your nose to nose with each other. And I'm just going to try to exhibit force on him. Just try to, you know, enter his face even further. And as I do so, he just drops, woo, all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't even have to touch it. You can just kind of. Tuck your head in behind there, so I want you back there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and just feel what happens in your own body reflex as that object occurs yeah. coming right down into your, into your eyes and your knees. And just feel that reflex yeah. first. Cool? Because it's really weird. If he tries to, I don't know. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. It's weird, huh? You feel it awful. Does feel That's the one that breaks the leg, or? This is the one that gives me the easier ride. And they both, to me, they both feel different from both Uke and Tori, even though we're starting in the same exact position. Right. They have a different feel yeah. in the body. Right. Uh, so try it statically like that first, and then give it about a step and see what it's like. The, the, the easy way to do the, the remembering which way to turn your body, yeah, is go the direction that thumb would be pointing. That way. <laughs> that's the one that lets them off the hook easy. <laughs> and if you go the other way, that's the one that tends to lock their knee. And, you know, cool. Okay, try it.